Hello everyone, my name is Yogesh. In today's video, we'll learn about recursive queries in Pandas data frame, or you can say alternative to recursive CT of SQL Server or any other RDBMS databases. Now, the reason for recording this session is because I really struggled to find any example on the internet for the recursive queries in Pandas data frame, and it's literally, I felt shameful, like, the Python is such a great language and there is no example there may be but I wasn't able to find it on Google So I hope this video will help you out and I have created a very simple example so that you can easily understand it So the example is on this employee database. So you can just ignore a few of these you can say column So I have employee ID first name last name and these basic column and then I have a manager ID So now the thing is here you can say employee ID 1 has a manager ID 0 means there is no manager to him and for other people for like even second um, uh, Employee ID the manager ID is 1 for third. It's 1 for fourth. It's 2 So it's a child of this one So suppose I want to trace whole hierarchy or you can say whole breadcrumb pattern of my complete net nested tree how i should be how i will be able to do that there might be other better ways of doing it so i just created a simple function which might help you or give you a quick start later on you can optimize it so what i will be doing is i will be reading this data so the same data i will process so give an example so what we will have is here it will be like one but for this one it will be one and two because uh, oh man this is making it february wait a second let me just change the format the cell to the text uh, text so I'll say one two so this will be the uh, second one so it will be one one three and for this one four it will be one two four the reason why one two four because now all are descendant of one so I will be creating a function where you can just input whichever uh, you can say employee you want to trace and from that employee it will trace all further okay so let us start with this so I have created a small function which is get level so it's a recursive function which it call itself the thing is it will call till the time there is no sub child left where the manager ID is of that employee it's the basic like what we have in Java and C sharp and if there is nothing so I get all the childs and for all the childs I will loop and call the same function again and what I do is I modify I add uh, what I will be doing I will be adding an empty column that's a level in that column I will be adding all these levels okay let me just run it so that you can understand example far better let me just comment the second one first so and then what will happen like the first I get the child I get the row current row from current row I get the level so that I can add on the level so suppose the current row is one and when I'm querying its child like the child at two and three so I have to add that one plus the child hyphen the child so that's the my breadcrumb pattern what I will be creating so if I just run it you don't worry about the code uh, note about the code you just put your uh, email ID in uh, the comments and I will share you the source code so it will be very easy so here you can see as for the you can say first employee it's the one because he's the level one and then the two it's like one hyphen two and then the three is like one hyphen three and then four is one hyphen four so I we got all the patterns so if you I see 17 now 17 is the root child like you can say the last uh, leaf child so it's like one two four so if you see 17 is a manager ID is six now six the manager ID is five five the manager ID is four four the manager ID is four, two and employee is the one is the manager ID of that so if you see the whole series is there so I think this will help you to figure it out your all levels how a recursive function can help you out now this was all about finding the sub childs now you might need a function where you want to find all the parents of a, uh, you can say any node so that also I created so for that solution what I'm doing is I'm just creating an empty data frame first why empty data frame so that I can record the parents there instead of just dropping out in the same data frame then what I'm doing is I'm checking if the row length is zero then just return and go back if it is not then get the parent ID find the uh, you can say uh, you can say uh, employee ID of current you can say uh, the parent uh, so this is the, this is like four indexes for the parent it is like zero one two three four so I'm getting the parent means the manager ID and then I'm getting the row of that manager and then I am 
appending that into the data frame because that is the parent and then I am calling the same function again. So it's the same row, uh, parent ID will be passed. Again, I will get if the employee ID is uh, not zero, go further. Again, it will get the parent of that parent and go further. So if I just comment this one and let me just clear it again. And if I run it again, so you will get your output. Oh, sorry, I didn't uh, uncommented it, sorry. Let me just stop it and run it again. So if I run it again, it will be fine. So I'm getting for 17 so that we can backtrack the same output. So here for the 17, so here you can see the 17, the parent is six, 17 parent was six, and then six was four, five, four, and then four was a uh, child of two and then one. So we got the whole hierarchy in the back. Now the best part is if I run both the function in sequence, this will populate all the you can say levels and this will show you the level as well so if i run it so here you see we got the level populated and now the same level i can see when i said i want parents of 17 so the direct parent of 17 is 6 which we can check here and then for 6 this is the hierarchy and so on. So I think this video and this script will help you out uh, in getting your recursive query uh, for you can say on the Pandas data frame. If you have any question, you can write me on my email ID or my phone number. And if you need any training, just let me know. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.